Right, let's get started. Let's welcome, welcome again to my panel, broadcaster and columnist Lizzie Cundy, and also political commentator Sam Dowler. Right, uh, let's uh, have a chat. I'm going to start with you, Lizzie. Lizzie, your thoughts. What do you think about this? This um, Adjua Ando, Bridget and I, I enjoyed Bridget and I watched no, a little bit of it. I couldn't watch the next series, but I managed to watch the first one. I thought it was great. She was fabulous. I love the diversity in the cast, but I know that's just not real life. Yeah, well... This isn't the first time she's done this. Mm. I don't know if you've looked at other things, interviews she's done with the BBC. Um, and this, she's got a track record of doing this. And I have to say, can you imagine? Look, when you've got a, a picture of, say, the Obama family mm. on a balcony, imagine if I said, oh, that's terribly black. Mm. People would say I was racist. Mm. Correct. Yes. Well, would you, you, would, was, you probably, wherever it was that you said that, would ask it you would to be, leave, probably, or you would apologise. <laughs> look, I, I'm sorry. Never, ever apologise for your genetic heritage. What I mean, I think it's actually disgraceful. Mm. And the coronation was an absolute spectacular success. Mm. It was incredible. And for her to say that, I was absolutely appalled and I was shocked with the channel for not pulling her up. Well, they didn't say anything. ITV, there was somebody on the end, I don't know who it was, I thought it was Juliette Chinnam, but I don't think it was. It was whoever was sitting next to Marlene went like this. And said, yeah, yeah. As if to and I thought to myself, hold on a minute. That's... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. That that is that that to me is bordering on racism because you are asking your. I mean, if they said a terribly black balcony, head would roll. I mean, what do you think, Sam? Well, obviously that would be a different situation altogether. Why? This is a uh, because it's because uh, we live in a world whereby the um, the British monarchy, for example, are seen as especially you know in the past with the British Empire as mm. like you know a conquering a conquering race like conquering black people con conquering various you know various like you know and claiming various islands claiming various African countries so like I can see where she's coming from because um, obviously Charles um, wanted it to be um, a, a very diverse yeah but not um, with the balcony with no, the family no, no, I mean, so, so, so you think listen, he should no, tell listen, no, what, no, no, so what, she was, uh, what she was saying was that they had that we'd all watched the um, the ceremony and stuff and we had all seen like you know this this, this a massive amount of diversity and then and then there we are with I, I don't I don't think she I, I think she just blurted it out yeah, but, but I don't think she 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 do you know what that means though that means the first thing that she saw was the colour of people's skin now that's not what I saw but also but also even, I didn't even notice the colour of anybody's skin. It. So that, that, that's my problem but I have also, with it. But it's, like, but it's like, for example, um, you know, as an LGBTQ person, like, I didn't think, like, you know, where are the gays up there? Where are the drag queens? Do you know what I mean? I didn't, th I didn't think that at all. I was just like... <laughs> where are the trans <laughs> people? Where are the, <laughs> where are the drag queens? <laughs> well, that a, would be something. There was a drag queen there, and she was wearing a crown. Um, no jokes. Um, but, like, basically, I'm just saying... <laughs> Gosh, I, I just please, thought about stop that. that. Stop, stop that. Stop. But, but like, would you want her then to just think? Listen, attack, let me just talk for a minute. No, but she's come from. She's come from. Bridget, she's come from Bridgerton, and I only watched the first series. I watched the first series as well. But there was a lot of criticism. Is in like, oh, they wouldn't have a black queen. They wouldn't have. They wouldn't because people didn't like to see like you know uh, uh, racially uh, diverse. They're changing cars. history. In, no, because it's not. It, Bridgerton is is made up. Well, yes. So therefore, so I, I think she was just you know just blurting something out, and then I think well, I think I think she didn't apologise for it, but I think she. I think she did regret it, but I mean, you, well, can, you can see, yeah, you can no, see I can't, why it popped I can't, into her. No, head. no, I can't. I can't. No, I wasn't looking at it like that. If she you? regretted it, she would have said the next day, I am so sorry. She didn't apologise. She said, oh, did I do something wrong? I think Ooh. she did apologise. And I, it, she wasn't, did it, wasn't really apologize. Apologize. it wasn't really an apology to me. And what do you want? To, to get a token person of colour on the balcony, just as a token. Oh, we well, must what's have, what's we what's what's must have someone that is Chinese. Let's have some, you know, it doesn't make sense. And that's what is racist. But again, what it was it? comment about about Megan for example I mean you know if, if like if there were still working roles and would she probably would have been well, on the but she's not a working well. role and Megan, However, they chose how, not to do it but Megan no, decided no, to, to leave the royal family yeah no I know yeah, I get that so it might have been like oh no where is Megan sort of thing I mean I who knows where she was coming from but as again, I know like, where she was coming but again from. but again she's you know come from a very colorblind show that people that people you know had had a problem with she's like this is and uh, again like if you but if you but if that's your focus then it is a sort of thing that you, that but, you but, talk about well, you see, Okay, so this is the problem, and this is why I, the, I entitled the monologue Prism of Race. Because there are certain people who look at everything like mm. this, mm. and it literally blinds mm. 
everything. So they cannot see anything else except, oh, there's not another black person. Or there's, and, and I think it's very negative, it's detrimental, and it's damaging to the children. Because for people like me who haven't seen it, you're forcing me to see your, yes. your own bias. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear people talking. Now, think now, about, now I have, think about now I have to look at the balcony yeah. and say, oh, there's only... There's, yeah. When yeah. I'm not looking at that, yes. and, and I, that's the worry. If you teach our children in that way to look at things mm. like right. that, then you'll end up mm. with racist children. Yeah. Well, because the whole, point, the whole point is, like you say, you know, we, I, I would love for it to be a colour-blind uh, community. Well, it was I, for I, me. Love, it was I'd for me. I'd love for the UK totally to be completely colour But how great you know, was it that some you of us brought are. in so was, many yeah, different and some, faiths? And some of, we had the gospel singing in yeah. the coronation. Yeah, it, was, it was fantastic. It was amazing. She spoke, it was modernised. She spoke out of turn, and I think, like, she, you know, there was obviously so many complaints, and I think a lot of the complaints obviously would have been, like, you know, why would you say that at a time like that? Like, as in, like, it's not appropriate to speak about it. But if it was on the other foot, can you imagine? You know, if it was on the other foot, Sam, that is the whole thing. Yeah, you know, in an African country, their yeah, leadership... I get it, I get it, but, no, black, no, people, but black people are a minority in this country. Yeah, yeah, that's so that, is, that, that is the point. That is the point. She should that. In an African country, the, the leaderships are black, if they mm. stand here. You know, we don't go, oh, that's terribly black. Mm. That, it's, it's not right. It doesn't have anything to do with colour, creed. It, mm. You know, you are there on merit or, you know, it's not about your skin colour. Well, and this is the whole thing. are they, let's be honest. Well, no, no, but they are born into this family, which is white. Exactly. So it's, 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 it's a white, it's a white family. It's exactly. German, of, actually. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, from, they're, there. From, they're from all over Europe, and as you said about the Black Queen and stuff, and if you look, if you look into history, there, you know, the, the, the whole Bridgerton thing, it isn't so far. fetched No, it's not. I don't think it is. It's not. So. It's not so far fetched. But obviously, you know, it, it, it brings it down to you know the British Empire to do with slavery, etc. And, well, I'm and, just and, sick and, of it. And I, of course, but I don't. But I don't think it was. I don't think it was necessarily the time to. I'm, bring I'm that sick up. of this, and I'm sick of her, and I, I think it's disgusting what she said that, and, and what a negative comment on such an incredible, wonderful day. And the other thing is it brings on faultless. this whole nonsense conversation about reparations, which I, I find just, I get so bored of it, because I think, how far do you want to go back? Because there was a point when actually black people probably enslaved white people at some point, and that would be further back. And if we go back even further, then we were all we all came yeah. from Africa. Yeah, but that so we, hang on, no, no, let me finish. So we all came from Africa. So if we're really going to keep going back and back, yeah. then, we need, then we actually need to go to the Africans and ask the Africans to pay back for the, you know, how far do you want to go? We can't well, go back nonsense. centuries and centuries. Go back to the yes, Vikings. Well, we, yes, we cap, yes, we, well they've got rid of the Viking unit, haven't they? The Viking unit's gone, hasn't it? You seem to be like whitewashing the fact that you know that we were that we were whitewashing. Oh, that we were that we were we were an oppressive <laughs> nation. You put yourself and we, in it there. We were oppressive against you know black, and it, and black, it, and black and countries and black communities. Yeah, but we're not now. And actually, not now. I know. We've got to move forward. And that's got nothing to do with it. It's got nothing to do with the fact that we should still discuss it. And we learn from history and what's gone on. Right. Let's move on.